缓和蓝光客机巨头阿斯麦发。Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States continues to increase the export control ban on lithography machines. Not only did it require the Netherlands to restrict the shipment of ASML's last immersion DUV lithography machine NTX 1985 DI lithography machine. In October 2023, it has now begun to put pressure on the Netherlands and ASML, demanding that ASML stop providing after-sales service for lithography machines to Chinese companies. However, what people did not expect is that ASML has officially responded to this. ASML. Has actually always been opposed to the issue of export control of lithography machines. After all, the strong demand for lithography machines in the Chinese market is obvious to all, and it has also become ASML's second-largest overseas market. It can even be said that ASML. Can achieve 10% revenue growth in 2023, a large part of which is also related to the strong demand from Chinese customers. However, it is difficult for ASML to ship in violation of the export control ban on photolithography machines. On the one hand. The Netherlands has officially restricted the shipment of immersion DUV lithography machines and EUV lithography machines, and ASML also revoked its shipment license in early January. On the other hand, ASML's lithography machines actually use a lot of American technology. For example. The most important extreme ultraviolet light source technology for EUV lithography machines was developed by American core company Intel. However, in the face of the United States' request to stop providing photolithography machine maintenance services to Chinese companies, ASML. Has also made it clear that the company has no reason not to provide services for equipment that has been sold to Chinese customers. At the same time, Dutch leader Rutte also said during his previous visit to China that he would try to reduce the impact of photolithography machines as much as possible. For ASML. Restricting maintenance services not only means that it will further lose the Chinese market, but also means that ASML will face lawsuits from Chinese companies. Maintenance services are clearly written in the purchase agreement. If maintenance services are stopped on such a large scale. ASML will inevitably be sued by the Chinese company. What's more, the matter itself is not very controversial, and the outcome of the lawsuit is also very clear. That is, ASML will compensate these Chinese companies. The method of compensation is nothing more than buyback. Or direct financial compensation. If ASML refuses to implement, its patents in mainland China will no longer be protected. What's more, for ASML, this kind of behavior is obviously damaging its own business reputation. With the rapid development of Nikon and Canon in the field of semiconductor equipment, AML's market position has been threatened. Now that this happens again, in the future ASML's market share 
in other markets, will also be affected. For ASML, unless the Netherlands issues a relevant ban, it is certainly impossible to restrict the provision of repair services. But now news has spread that ASML plans to withdraw from the Netherlands. The Netherlands is trying its best to retain ASML and naturally will not restrict its maintenance services at this time. If the Netherlands really does this, then I am afraid it will only strengthen ASML's confidence in withdrawing from the Netherlands. Under the influence of various factors, it is probably impossible for the United States to implement restrictions on semiconductor equipment maintenance services. What's more, in addition to the Netherlands, Another country that restricts the shipment of lithography equipment, Japan, and Japanese equipment manufacturers Nikon and Canon also responded. Japan has expressed its unwillingness to continue to follow up on the export control of photolithography machines, which includes the provision of maintenance and parts services. Nikon stated that it will strengthen its own technology research and development and create photolithography equipment that does not require the participation of American technology. Nikon directly wants to bypass the export control ban and ship products. So it is naturally impossible for Nikon to follow the United States and further impose restrictions. Judging from the current situation, it is estimated that this goal of the United States will be difficult to achieve. Both ASML and Japan's Nikon and Canon have the same attitude. Even under this situation, it is increasingly difficult for the United States to maintain export controls on lithography machines. ASML continues to ship other lithography machines, and Nikon and Canon are also starting from the technical level. If you agree with the views of this video, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.